when we are talking about a distributed ledger, I think it's a new uh, it's a new world uh, since 2014. Because before 2014, everyone is talking about a cryptocurrency, but the distributed ledger is based on blockchain's technology. Yeah, uh, because at the very beginning, in the cryptocurrency design of Bitcoin, we have a new data structure. The data structure is a hash pointer. So based on the hash pointer uh, data structure, we can build a distributed ledger. And the distributed ledger will bring the world a new transparency and a new, uh, a new uh, database uh, for, to record all the commercial uh, activities. Yeah. So the distributed ledger can make everything more transparent, more, more traceable uh, in the blockchain world. Uh, I was preparing my PhD uh, in China's Academy of Science since 2012. Yeah. At that time, the, the Bitcoin idea just started to become popular in China. Uh, one of my PhD uh, topic is about the peer-to-peer -peer network, uh, but uh, on how to transfer the multimedia uh, on the internet. So it has some similar design with the Bitcoin network. That's why I uh, joined the industry from an academic research point of view from the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, but at 2014, I realized that, like the blockchain, the Bitcoin is a huge opportunity in the future. It will, uh, personally, I think it's maybe a bigger opportunity than the internet at times. So that's, that's uh, make me made the decision like, okay, I want to uh, full-time in this industry. So that's the reason I quit the PhD degree uh, in China's Academy mm -hmm. of Science. But after that, you know, in 2014, it's a crypto winter. It's a blockchain industry winter at that time. Uh, if I remember right, I think the price of Bitcoin at that time may be uh, $300. Yeah. So the industry is pretty small. So I, I asked myself, what's the most important, important thing in the future for the, uh, for the blockchain industry? I think it's the usability. Yeah, because as a new technology, the usability is very important. So I think the, the best usability, uh, best company who can offer the best usability uh, in China is like Alibaba or Tencent. That's a part of the reason I went to Alibaba and worked there, but a very short, short time. Yeah. Uh, at that time, I was, uh, I was working there as a product manager uh, of, the, of the Taobao, uh, the mobile op application. They have like uh, maybe more than one billion users over the world, mm -hmm. so they have the best usability. So I, I take in charge uh, some of the uh, design and the function, mm -hmm. uh, the function design of the of the Taobao mo mobile application and the and also the, the web the web uh, functions. Yeah, so I learned uh, like how can you make the best usability products uh, in in the best company. Yeah, so that's the reason I uh, went to Alibaba and worked there. But after that, I still want full time into the blockchain industry. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason I also leave Alibaba and uh, start the quantum project. In general, we want to become the most influential uh, platform in the world. Uh, not only in China, in Asia, uh, we are targeting the whole world. Yeah. But uh, technically, we want to become the best uh, tech, tech, technology supported platform in the world. So that's the reason we are working on the x86 virtual machine, and we are working on the lighting network. So we can make the quantum network become more scalable in, in long term. Because right now, a very huge uh, challenge for the whole blockchain industry is we still have tech, some technology like uh, li limitations right now. Like for Bitcoin, every day you can only process about 300,000 transactions per day. And for Ethereum right now, the network is pretty busy too. You can only process 1.5 million transactions per day. But quantum is, uh, even we have better TPS, we have better scalability. Like in quantum, uh, by design, we can process maybe more than 3 million transactions per day, up to 7 million transactions per day. But in long term, it's still not enough. Yeah. Okay. So technically, we want to make quantum better, and uh, that's the reason we design the uh, we design the decentralized governance model. Because another challenge for the whole industry is we have very bad governance. Like for Bitcoin, the hard fork, 
people basically are fighting to make the decision to uh, whether to change the block size from one megabyte to two megabyte. Yeah, uh, like for Ethereum, when the DAO accident happened or something's happened, uh, we have no we have no decision making mechanism to make a smart decision uh, for the whole industry. Yeah, so that's the reason technically we are doing a lot of innovations uh, on quantum platform. And uh, uh, on the business side, we are trying to bring more decentralized application on quantum. So uh, basically every day we have a new depth on quantum. So right now uh, the network, uh, the main net only released uh, about four months, but we already have more than 50 projects are building on quantum. Uh, the, the, the platform, the ecosystem is growing su uh, super fast. Yeah. Uh, so my vision for, the, for quantum or for the blockchain industry is like I believe in the future, the blockchain technology gonna uh, offer the basic infrastructure for the whole society. The infrastructure is, is the trust. Because right now in the society, we have, if we have a lot of infrastructure, like the water, the air, the electricity, the network, yeah. But in the society, we need another uh, infrastructure. Th this infrastructure is a trust service. So I hope Quantum can become the world's biggest and the most influential uh, trust service provider uh, in, in the future. Uh, right now, there are more than 50 dApps from, um, I think, more than 10 industry are building on Quantum. Like we have some popular dApps like from the energy industry, uh, from the IP and the copyright, and also uh, from the even the space technology, yeah, and also the online streaming, uh, and also the supply chain and IoT, yeah. So right now, more and more people from the traditional industry they realize that the blockchain is the next is the next big opportunity, no matter uh, which industry you you are working on, yeah. So that's a part of the reason why more and more people from the traditional industry they are moving to the blockchain industry right now. Uh, in the future, I think the DApps is. Uh, it's gonna change people's daily life in the future. But right now it's still super early stage for the blockchain industry. But uh, for example, like in the future, uh, I believe like uh, more and more developers, they will, move to, they will move to blockchain industry rather than to uh, develop the application for Apple Store or for the Android market. Yeah, Because sometimes you will find it's very simple to build some ver uh, popular application uh, on the blockchain platform rather than to spend maybe a few months to, de to develop a decentralized application in Apple Store. So that's make, that, that will make a very big change for the whole software industry in the future. A great company in China, it's a leading like a video distributor and a, a, a leading like a, a technology company in China. So we are partner uh, with Baofeng to, uh, for two reasons. Yeah. The first reason is like we want to use the Baofeng's like uh, all, the, all the current channels to make a quantum network become more decentralized. So that's the reason the Baofeng company will help Quantum uh, Foundation to deploy more than 50 thousand phone nodes in, the, in uh, one year, two years. Yeah. They will start deploying all the quantum phone nodes uh, in China. That's that by if we make get this done, it will make quantum because become become the most uh, uh, most uh, like a decentralized applica decentralized application platform in China and also in the world. Because Bitcoin today have about uh, uh, ten thousand phone nodes and Ethereum have twenty thousand phone nodes. If a quantum platform ha can have fifty thousand phone nodes, it will become the most decentralized uh, platform in the future. That's that's one, that's the first reason. The second reason uh, we are also uh, doing doing some joint research with the Baofeng together because we want to really use the blockchain uh, to solve some problems in the movie industry, in the music industry, in all the digital content uh, industry in China. Yeah, so we uh, we wanted to use the blockchain technology to uh, help uh, on the copyright pr protection and uh, to help on the to build more uh, distribution channels for the movie for the music. Yeah, so we are working on these areas too.